Golden Retriever. The Golden Retriever, or simply Golden, is a dog breed from Great Britain, selected as a gun dog. The Golden Retriever has been a very popular breed since the 1990s. Goldens need a lot of exercise, but they can also flourish in apartments because they are very close to their owners from whom they do not like to be separated. They require regular grooming and occasional baths. Their coats shed somewhat during the year, but are known to shed profusely twice a year. They also need to have their ears cleaned regularly, or ear infections might occur. While shedding is unavoidable, frequent grooming, daily to weekly, lessens the amount of hair shed by the animal. Severe shedding resulting in bald patches can be indicative of stress or sickness. Origins and History The origins of the Golden Retriever are controversial. The breed could be derived from a group of Caucasian dogs related to the Leonberg, brought back to Britain or bought in 1858 from a Russian circus by the future Lord Tweedmouth. The breed is shown in dog shows for the first time in 1909 and registered in England in 1913. It's believed it was developed to serve as a reporter dog, more specifically for hunting. Other speculations claim that Golden Retrievers were originally bred in Scotland in the mid-19th century. At that time, wild fowl hunting was a popular sport for the wealthy Scottish elite, but the existing retriever breeds were inadequate for retrieving downed birds. Retrieving from both land and water was necessary because the hunting grounds of the time were pocketed with marshy ponds and rivers. Consequently, the best water spaniels were crossed with the existing retrievers, resulting in the establishment of the breed today known as the Golden Retriever. The Golden Retriever was first developed near Glen Affric in Scotland, at Gui Sachin, the highland estate of Dudley Majuri Banks, first Baron Tweedmouth. The breed is thought to have originated from the now extinct Russian tracker dog. Temperament The temperament of the Golden Retriever is a hallmark of the breed, kind, friendly, and confident. Golden Retrievers make good family pets, particularly as they are patient with children. They're not one-man dogs, and are generally equally amiable with both strangers and those familiar to them. Their trusting, gentle disposition makes them a poor guard dog. The typical Golden Retriever is calm, naturally intelligent, and biddable, and with an exceptional eagerness to please. Golden Retrievers are also known for their intelligence. The breed ranks fourth in Stanley Corrin's The Intelligence of Dogs, following the Border Collie, Poodle, and German Shepherd, as one of the brightest dogs ranked by obedience command trainability. Golden Retrievers are compatible with other dogs, cats, and most livestock. They are particularly valued for their high level of sociability towards people, calmness, and willingness to learn. Because of this, they are commonly used as guide dogs, mobility assistance dogs, and search and rescue dogs. Appearance Golden Retrievers are medium-large dogs with a long-haired coat, cream to dark golden in color, and commonly used to retrieve shot waterfowl, such as ducks and upland game birds, during hunting and shooting parties. The FCI standard describes the Golden Retriever as a docile, intelligent dog, naturally gifted for work, gentle, friendly, and self-confident. These are dogs that need space and exercise. They are also very attracted to water. In this regard, they have an undercoat that protects them from cold and water, webbed legs and a tail they use as a propeller to help propel themselves and steer with ease. Golden Retrievers are very affectionate and easy to educate, but owners must reckon with their sensitivity. Act with encouragement rather than reprimands that the dog endures as badly as the drill. 
When forced, its somewhat independent and determined character will resurface, and becomes absent, even reluctant. The Golden is not a dog to be trained by constraint. Its great faculty of empathy can lead it to a very strong bond with its owner. Coat and Colors As indicated by their name, their coats occur in light golden to dark golden colors. The top coat is water resistant and slightly wavy, and sheds in small amounts throughout the year. The undercoat is soft and keeps the retriever cool in summer and warm in winter. It sheds in the spring and fall. The dog's coat should never be too long as this may prove to be a disservice to it in the field, especially when retrieving game. Golden Retrievers have mild feathering on the backs of their forelegs, and heavier feathering on the fronts of their necks, backs of their thighs, and the bottom of their nails. Utilities Golden Retrievers are used as an assistance dog for people with reduced mobility, but also as an awakening dog for autistic people or people with related disorders, such as trisomy and polyhandicap. The Golden Retriever is popular as a disability assistance dog, such as being a guide dog for the blind and a hearing dog for the deaf. In addition, they are trained to be a hunting dog, a detection dog, and a search and rescue participant. The breed's friendly and gentle temperament means it's unsuited to being a professional guard dog, but its temperament has also made it the third most popular family dog breed in the United States and Canada the fifth most popular in Brazil and Australia, and the eighth most popular in the United Kingdom. The Golden Retriever is a service dog used to help people with various disabilities, including deaf and hemiplegic. Because of its highly developed sense of smell, it is also trained to search for people buried in rubble, explosives, or drugs. They are sensitive and friendly dogs that establish easy and constructive contact with the people around them, which makes them great for hospitals and elderly care centers. Health and Life Expectancy Golden Retriever's ears are fragile and must be washed very regularly so that they don't catch otitis, a first symptom of which is the reddening or browning of the inside of the ears before serious complications. They are also prone to skin diseases, such as dermatitis, allergies, seboria, sebaceous adenitis, self-inflicted lick granuloma, and hemophilia. On the other hand, dysplasia is common and can also affect the elbow and not just the hip. Cancer is the breed's biggest killer, causing 61.4% of the American Golden Deaths, according to a 1998 health study conducted by the Golden Retriever Club of America. The most common is hemangiosarcoma, followed by lymphosarcoma, mast cell tumor, and osteosarcoma. A 2004 survey by the UK Kennel Club puts this number at 38.8%. Hip and elbow dysplasia afflict one-fifth of the dogs. Eye diseases are also possible in the breed. Cataracts are the most common eye disease, but they can also be afflicted with progressive retinal atrophy, glaucoma, dystichiasis, entropion, corneal dystrophy, and retinal dysplasia. In addition, golden retrievers may suffer from heart disease, especially subvalvular aortic stenosis and cardiomyopathy, and joint diseases including patella luxation, osteochondritis, panostitis, and cruciate ligament rupture. Their long hair also gets knotted up under the ears, and longer hairs on their belly and legs if they're not groomed. These dreads can be cut out with scissors and slow rapid cuts. They can cause pain and discomfort, and if left too long will get more matted. Golden Retrievers live an average life of 12 to 14 years. This estimate, however, is quite controversial. According to certain sources, some Golden Retrievers would have happily lived up to 17 years. The breed, unlike other dogs, usually experiences a fairly brief end of life. That is, they tend to be healthy and remain in fairly good condition 
until their last moments of their life. Thank you for watching the video till the end. Now it's your turn. What dog breed do you have or would you like us to talk about? Please let us know. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel to help us establish our presence on YouTube.